these the brothers that's outside, that's on the pavement, where you can reach out and touch them. These are not internet fucking Hebrew Israelites, okay? Like a lot of these clowns. They are internet Hebrew Israelites, that's it. They are not in the highways and the byways, as the Most High tells you to be in the goddamn highways and the byways and raise your damn voice like a trumpet to reach the masses of our people. And y'all niggas are not doing that. You are internet fake-ass Hebrew Israelites. And that's why I always make my distinction. I always say not all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, you got a few minutes to hit her, brother. Uh, go over, go over what you want some scripture. I got it. It's a few yeah, minutes. Actually, I was. And can I show? Can I show you just one thing in the scripture? Just one. one. Before you go, one. That's it. That's all I need. You got that? All praises, okay, brother. All, all praises. Okay, okay, read that. Now, you, you believe in the entirety of the Bible? I just want to substantiate. Of course. Okay, now I'm gonna read you something. I don't know if you've ever heard this. Tell me if you ever heard this before. Read it. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 11, verse 7. And the strong shall and the swine, you know what swine is, sir? Pig, there you go. Though he divide the hood and the cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. Is what? He is unclean to you. He is unclean to you. Now keep reading, keep reading. Verse 8, of their flesh shall ye not eat. Of their flesh shall what? Ye shall not eat, but their flesh shall ye not eat. So did you know, according to the biblical text, according to the right the, the scriptures that you believe in, it says that it's a sin to eat pig. You ever heard that before? Yeah, is that Old Testament? Yes, yes, it's Old Testament. Like, now, have you ever heard that? It's the same yeah. thing in the New Testament. Have you ever heard that in the New Testament before, or have you never heard I, that? I also heard that everything that God did and created and made is good. Okay, do you, do you have, the, do you know what the scripture is that says that? Okay, okay, now let me show you something. Let me show you, because you, you said something, right? So give me Matthew 5 and 17. So I'm not going to show you, maybe you haven't read, I know you know what about the Old Testament, right? Maybe you haven't read this in the New Testament. You get what I'm saying? Because I'm going to show you something that Christ said. I know you believe in Christ, right? Because you say you believe in the Bible. So now, does Christ say anything that's wrong? Like incorrect a little bit or something? Or does he say everything 100% right, 100% factual every single time, without flaw? There you go. I agree with you. Okay, now, now watch this. Now, now this is what Christ said. And, and watch, read. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 5, and verse 17. The book of Matthew. What? Is that Old or New Testament? Yep. New Testament. Okay, now watch what he said. Watch. Think not that I have come to destroy the law. Christ said what? Think not that I have come to destroy the law. So you know what it means when it says, when Christ said, think not that I came to destroy the law? You know what that means? So it means that don't get it in your mind that I came here to do away with the laws of God, right? That's what he means. And, and the laws of God, where are they found? Old Testament, right? Now watch. I mean, keep reading. He gets, and he gets very, very specific. Watch this. Or the prophets, I have not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, so heaven and earth pass. So heaven and earth pass. So has heaven and earth passed yet, or are we still standing on it? On the way out. On the way out. So it hasn't passed yet, because so we're still here, right? So Christ said, till heaven and earth pass away. One jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. He said, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. Keep reading. Till all be fulfilled. Whosoever, therefore, shall break one of these least commandments... Shall break what? One of these least commandments... Whoever breaks one of these least commandments, like shaving your beard, that's a sin according to the Bible. Christ said this, right? So Christ in the New Testament said, Whosoever, uh, therefore, shall break one of these least commandments... And shall teach men so... And if they go around teaching people that we don't have to keep the commandments anymore... He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. He should be called what? The least in the kingdom of heaven. He should be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. That means you're not going to make it into the kingdom, right? Now read this. But whosoever shall do and teach them. Whosoever shall do the commandments and shall teach people to do the same thing. The same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. The Lord said you'll be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So have you ever read that verse before? And then I'm going to listen to what you have to say. Have you ever heard that before? So Christ himself, first of all, Christ said the law is not been done away. So do you, do you agree with Christ? Oh, 
all praises, okay? Now, do you have anything uh, to say about that or whatever it's that you're thinking about while people are reading the text? Well, Just so I'm not bogarting the conversation, you know what I mean? Yeah. Now, these guys are our shortcomings and things that we've done wrong or maybe going wrong. I said Jesus died for our sins yeah. and things that we might be doing wrong or missteps in our life. He didn't die for nothing. He died to make an atonement for men that we might be saved in regards to how, not in regards to how we live, but what you may have lived in your life and to get better. There are guidelines in the Old Testament and the New Testament. You have to be very, very specific with those guidelines. Sorry, yes, sir. Yeah. But anyway, I got to roll because I got a schedule. I got a rehearsal. Okay, and, and, and one last scripture while you go out, right? Just because we had a conversation. It was going to be one, but you kind of had a good dialogue. Yeah. So if I read you one more, give me uh, Hebrews 10 and 26. So this can marinate in your mind as you go on away, because today is the Sabbath day. I don't, I'm not sure if you know that, but we can't buy, sell, trade, cook, candle, no type of fire specifically today. Now I'm going to read you something out the New Testament. This is the book of Hebrews, right? Read this. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 10 and verse 26. For if we sin willfully, for if you sin willfully, if you don't know that you, you're breaking the commandments, you know it's a Sabbath day, if you know you can't eat pork, you know the commandments, but you sin willfully, meaning you don't really, ah, God, I said, I, I think I'm cool because, you know, I'll just repent and I'll be all right, like, but you get without charge of like, oh, wait a minute, God said do this? Okay, hold on, nah, 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 I can't, can't do it. Without even the struggle of the fight, you get what I'm saying? So it says if we sin willfully, read it from the top again. For if we sin willfully, if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. There remaineth what? There remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. So if you sin willfully, right, the New Testament says the blood of Christ covers you no longer. You see what I'm saying? So, do you agree with the text? I agree with the text. I all praises, praise, all praises. I, I really do. All praises, all praises. Every man sins. When you get up in the morning and start your day, there's things that happen. You may do it willingly or unwillingly. That's why you have to ride on the blood of Jesus, knowing that he has covered you. Because there's no man on this earth, I don't care who it is, is without sin. So if you say you are, you lie. And and God don't like false witness. You got to, you know, study those ten commandments, study what Jesus says, and do your best to live that way. Because nobody's holier than thou. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, you know, study the word, understand the word, do your best to follow the word. And that's what I tell people. I don't I don't try to Bible beat anybody. I don't try to argue any points, anything. I go what the word says and try to follow that the best way I can. And I pray without the sins. When I'm riding, I do pray. When I get up in the morning, I have a prayer of Thanksgiving. And when I go to bed, I have a prayer of Thanksgiving. I talk to the uh, to Father God all the time. All the time. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, like what you're doing, you know, keep it up. Okay, now, and one last question. So, now, do you agree, since now that you know it's a sin to eat pork, are you going to stop eating pork? I don't know. You know, I, I don't know. There's some, there's the Ten Commandments that are more sinful than to worry about eating pork. There's people dying every day. I'm a uh, retired school teacher. I had kids confused on what they are, not just the, if they're a male or female or pancake or waffle. Some of them think they're animals and stuff now and trying to live as animals. I put more focus on those things to get, people, get that confusion, that same confusion right now to destroy our people. Then um, I don't want to say minute stuff because there is some minute things that um, it's not the focus of what Jesus said. Jesus wants you to be safe. That's what he wants. He wants people to accept him into, into your life and get it together. We have an administration in this country that's purposely leading people astray. And that's the work of Satan. Because Satan on his days are what? Wrapping up. So he's using all, like this is, uh, they're celebrating what? Uh, the rainbow people this month. You know, you see the celebration that's going on? Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. That's what we need to do. Okay. Now, now one thing, now one thing, right, because you said, I asked you, I showed you that uh, in the New Testament, right, it says we have to keep the commandments, right? right? And if you willfully sin, the blood of Christ doesn't cover you, right? So when I showed you in the Bible. Knowingly and unknowingly, all the time. Well, I, I, I would disagree with that because I don't sin just all the time. You get what I'm saying? You, you might, you, you, there's something that might have, if you go specific exactly what everything says, there's things that you will do not even thinking about it. 
if a beautiful female walks past here, it is in man's nature to look that direction. And thoughts unwillingly go to your head and your eyes. Okay, and the Bible says, if you look at a woman with any type of lust, you've already sinned already. Is that right? That's right, that's right. Okay. So now if we know that law, then if you see a woman walking by, what are we supposed to do? You're supposed to turn away. So that's not what let it bother right? you. But now, you know, the way this thing is set up now, you got women half naked walking. You, got, <laughs> hey, thanks, though. Hey, you hey, don't thanks. see them today. <laughs> Right, right. say it's not gonna happen. I guarantee you within the next hour you're gonna see <laughs> All right, now and, then, and let me show you something because you said you said um you said something like when I asked you, are you gonna continue to eat pork? You said uh, well, I, I mean I don't know. Because there's so much food that has that and if you don't specifically bite that, um there's so many other things that are bad too. And I'm saying that because there's things that we eat all the time and, and we're not supposed to eat and we don't know it. That's why I hesitated because sometimes you eat food and it might have pork in it, you don't even know it. Okay, hey, but no, 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 let me, but let me show you what God said. Because you said, I, I, you didn't say, when I said, are you going to stop eating pork? You didn't say, yes, sir, yes, I'm going to keep the commandments. I you, think I now, let me, the big picture. Yeah, but hold on, let me, yeah, yeah, sorry for okay. So now, now let me show you what God said. So I'm going to show you what's going to happen if uh, the Most High and Christ were to crack the sky right now uh -huh. and catch anybody eating pork. I'm not going to say nothing. I'm going to let him tell you what he's going to do. So hopefully this will convince you that you can, you can stop eating pork. Read it. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So it says God is going to return and he's going to come with fire. Very simple, right? Keep going. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. Has the Lord pleaded with all flesh by his fire and sword? No, right? Does that... And the slain of the Lord shall be many. So read that again. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. God said he's going to have to kill a lot of people. The next verse is going to tell you why. Watch this. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh. Eating what? Eating swine's flesh. What's that mean? Verse 17 from the top. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh and the abomination and the mouse shall be consumed together, saith the Lord. Shall be what? Shall be consumed together, saith the Lord. God said he's going to consume you if he catches you eat pork on the return of Christ. Do you agree with the with the Heavenly Father in the book of Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 15 through 17? I'm not going to judge people on what they do. I don't personally... It's very rare that I would accidentally or get some in my system, but I eat mostly fish anyway. Fish That's and, good. and poultry is mostly what I eat. Oh, praise. Oh, praise. Now, do you, do you agree? Concern. I just want to be clear. I don't want to kind of like skip over this, right? Because this is very important. Right. Because you, because pork to you is kind of like, I, and I understand because it seems like it's just bacon, you know what I mean? I'm putting, you know, making a little bacon burger. You know, it's uh, God's more concerned with turkey people. Bacon. People, there you go. See, turkey, see, see? All praises to the most high. So you can get chicken, sausage, turkey, bacon, and things. But I just want to be clear that you understand what the most high God said that he's going to do. So so now, now that you know this scripture is in the Bible, I'll ask you again, right? Are you going to, now knowing this, are you going to continue eating pork? Probably not purpose. Like, I don't purpose. Saying, I don't. Or, or, or are you going to? Are you going to do your absolute best to never eat it again? Well, that and other things, but I'm not just going to put my focus on that. There's a lot of things I need to change in my life. Okay, okay, but, but look, we're just taking it one step at a time. Right. Like we, I can throw 613 commandments everywhere, and then everybody exactly. be doing spins, right? Yes. So, exactly. but here specifically, this one commandment. So now that you know that the God of Israel is going to kill anybody uh, upon his return who is eating swine's flesh. Now that you know that, it's a fact that you know that, because I'm not making this up. Uh, we read it out the Bible. Now that you know that, are you going to at least, at the least, try your absolute best to never eat pork again? Pork again? I do that either. Okay, okay. What I'm saying is... All praises. All praises. See, and, that, and that's what matters. See that that right there? Now you see, now listen to what your answer was before. Your answer before was, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I think I'm just kind of still eat pork. Now, after getting a little bit better understanding, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do that. I ain't going to do that no more. I'm going to do my best to not do that. See what I'm saying? And a lot of times when you answer questions, you don't give a direct answer. You 
think about it first before you start writing. Okay, it. okay, okay, fair enough. Okay, yeah. all praises to the most. Now, if you have any further questions about me with anything, I just wanted to stop and give oh, no. you a bit of the word of the Lord. Any, uh, any things just, specifically that you have I any questions about? No, I keep studying the Bible. Oh, I can never get enough. You know, I read it from cover to cover, process of reading and studying it again. You know, Bible study. I oh, praises. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so we in your corner, Elder. You, you're one of our elders. You know what I'm saying? So we look up to you. You see what I'm saying? When we see the, the white hairs, we don't look at that and be like, uh, you know what I mean? When we see white hairs, we say, look, that's wisdom. We're looking for wisdom out here. You see what I'm saying? So we look up to you to, to feed us. You get what I'm saying? Because we come to you. We're the generation after you. You see what I'm saying? So we appreciate your time and we appreciate your patience. We I know we said one scripture, but you had really, really good dialogue with me and, and it was extremely fruitful. It can't get no fruit for the net. So I want to let you know I appreciate that. And if you have any other questions, if you I don't know what you're doing. Today's the Sabbath day. We, we should be at rest. But we'll, we'll take it one step at a time. If you have any questions, if you see, if you ride by here, come back. Feel free to ask, and, and we'll deal with anything. You feel me? It's a rest for me. Okay. <laughs> okay. If you've been through what I've been through, uh, when you're okay, breathing okay. God's fresh air, using my health and strength that he gave me this morning, you know, uh, got me stop here for a reason. Got me stop here for a reason. Got me stop here for a reason. There's always a ministry somewhere. That's right. what I do. And I'm sure somewhere out there I'll be able to share the word of God with someone. Okay, all or praises. encourage someone. There you go. I'm with you. We rock with you, Elder. We rock with you. All praises. All okay. right. Y'all take it easy. All right, you too. You too. too okay, okay yep. Yeah. What's up with y'all? Y'all got any questions or anything? I know y'all came over here looking at the... Looking at the couple of things, I got any questions or any? What's up? What's up? You said this is what? A little bit closer. I can hear you. Speak up a little bit. This is Christian, right? Christian, like meaning this is Christianity? No, it's not Christianity at all. You get what I'm saying? So Christianity, uh, no offense to anyone listen, but we can't just sit up here and lie, right? So Christianity is uh, a false religion that was placed upon our people, along with Roman Catholicism, Islam, Jehovah Witness, all this, right? Uh, through the, the through the factors of slavery. You get what I'm saying? So and it teaches uh, unbiblical, you know, doctrines in the biblical text. So what we come out here to do is we come out here to to show people what the biblical text actually says. You you probably heard me with the brother here. He didn't know that uh, people that keep eating pork and don't care, they're not going to make it into the kingdom of heaven. So he was a firm Bible believer, but he was eating pork all the time. But after the conversation, you know, he's like, okay, cool. I ain't finna eat pork no more. You get what I'm saying? So a lot of people that believe in the biblical text, biblical text they, they don't know these things. So, I'm saying. so it's not, my bad, to, to not to go around. So it's not Christianity. We are the Hebrew Israelites, right, of the Most High God of Israel. You get what I'm saying? So and this is a specific camp. Uh, this is no cap street boys camp of california they should have kicked the priest so that's what we come to do so it's it's, it's not christianity all praises all praises Does your, your friend have any questions or anything so, so, all good no no questions or anything okay all praises yes sir yes sir if anybody has any questions you may come up here and ask this isn't like a show where it's like you know brothers up here don't have any knowledge and we go specifically by a script and if there's any rebuttals, we kind of really don't know what to do with anything, right? You dealing with learned brothers up here, right? Everybody in their own stages. So if anybody has any questions, you know, we're not here to bite nobody head off. <laughs> you know what I mean? You ain't got to be scared of us or that like that. If you've been something that's been concerning you regarding the scriptures, that's exactly what the Most High put us here for.